Raina Spreen here from Exhibit. So it's the last day of CES 2017 exhibition. Um, I'm a little bit sad that it's ending because I had so much fun. Um, so now I'm actually going to talk to uh, two very important men. I am not going to tell you who it is. Just see. All right, let's go. All right, so today we have with us Gary Shapiro, who is the president and CEO of the Consumer Technology Association, which represents 2,400 tech companies and also produces CES. Now, we also have Ramesh Samani, who is the founder and CEO of Exhibit Group. Well, welcome. All right, so, um, so Gary, last day of the CES exhibition today. Um, extremely overwhelming. There was so much to see. Um, I am sure, like I'm a rookie, this is my first time uh, at this show. I have not seen, I've tried to see everything, but I definitely was not able to cover everything. Now, what do you recommend for a first timer like myself to definitely see at the show? Well, first, I'm so glad you made the trip to come <laughs> here, and hopefully, you'll come back. But Absolutely. The CES is where the world gathers. Mm -hmm if you're in a business of innovation. So we have uh, almost 4,000 technology companies showing different things and putting their best face onto the world of innovation. And we attract from around the world chief executives officers of major companies, chief marketing officers and others. But what the trends are and what is being shown here are, are big categories, whether it's in the automotive area, the connected car, the self-driving car, the zero emissions car, or wearables, an increasingly fast growth area, where you can monitor not only your steps and your heartbeat, but you can start sending information to the doctors around the world. You could be alerted if something bad's about to happen. Yeah. Also, so many drones. And we're also seeing the future. We're seeing the future of 5G, robotics. Yes. Yes. Are These are areas which we know are going to grow uh, rapidly. When we have new things, we have a whole area focused on sleep technology, because yeah. sleep is so important to what we do. Um, and then there are areas that are traditional, but, but expanding their own way, like the, the video Video screens, the TV screens have gotten thinner and better and actually cheaper. Mm -hmm. uh, and the whole, even audio, which we take for granted, the audio experience is getting even more wonderful. If you think about it, just focusing on the five senses, we've even had uh, companies showing a product here which actually could smell things hooked up to your smartphone. Yes, and yes. companies that make a perfect drink for you in different ways, whether it's uh, coffee or wine or whatever you want. Uh, and even touch. So there's haptic technology is growing very quickly and you can experience things without actually touching something and it gives the appearance that you're touching something. Yeah. And of course, uh, artificial <coughs> intelligence is very big, sure. uh, augmented reality, virtual reality. Yeah, sure, yeah. We are going into the future mm -hmm. very quickly and this is where it happens mm -hmm. every year. Yeah. You know Gary, like for me, I've been coming here for seven years now. And it's so, the fabric of CS has changed so much, you know, because I've seen okay. auto companies taking stage. Now we have cruise companies, we have uh, a clothing company like Under Armour and Carnival. I mean, this, this basic, basically means the whole, every company is a technology company. So for that, which means that CS is like going to become much bigger because we'll have, so where do you think, like what are your thoughts about that? Like, you know, we have so much going on now. I think you said it well, every company is a technology yeah. company and that's why we get CEOs from around the world to come because they want to see the future because if they stay in place, yeah. others are going to pass them by and sure. the companies that succeed in the future are those that could cut across vertical lines of their industry, they right. can cut deals, right. they could go forward on, on the basis of different brands. There's also a huge focus on startups here. We have 600 yeah. startups in the Park. Park. <laughs> and they're also, the change that big companies have is they're looking at startups seriously now as potential partners, investors, mentors, uh, and, and that, these, this whole deal making that goes on in CS is absolutely I saw huge. a lot of CEOs and VCs walking around the Park myself. Oh, you know, huge yeah. number, the investment community is here it's in huge. Course. Huge. Deals are being cut all the time. All the time. But this is what we try to, to position the show for, is to make it as easy as possible mm -hmm. for anyone focused on the business of innovation from around the world mm -hmm. to come here in one week and do all sorts of deals which will carry them for months, and establish yeah. relationships. You know, it's funny, as I'm in the technology world representing technology companies, and you think you could just do everything over the internet. Yeah. Well, you can't. You can't have the, the, the eye to eye contact, the relationships, trust people. You can't see an exhibit and get a sense of a company. And you can't have the value of serendipity sure. where you discover something you didn't even know that you didn't know. Exactly. Completely agree with you. 
So I am actually very curious to ask you, did you see any, what was the hottest trends firstly at this year's CES edition? And did you see any gadget that you would like to take back with you? Well, the, the trends are connectivity. If there's one thing, is things are connected, the Internet of Things, artificial intelligence is being used. It's all fueled by these very low cost sensors because of the prevalence of smartphones and they're in smartphones. So literally billions are being made and smart people are thinking. Them. But we've gone away from being a gadget show. What we are is a show about innovation generally and trends in technology. Um, the real truth is I don't get to see much of the show. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm meeting with people yeah. like you. So I, in, in a couple hours I am looking forward to actually walking the floors very quickly. So yeah. like you, like Ramesh said that now yeah. it's becoming an autom like automobile companies are coming in, clothing companies are coming in, everything is becoming technology orientated. Where do we see it going next? Like what next? What else do we see coming uh, into C as maybe in the next five years? Maybe space, space maybe animals. Maybe what, what else? Yeah. Well we just broke ground a few days ago on an additional convention center that'll be huge next door okay. but so we'll have the space eventually mm -hmm. uh, but in terms of the trends the trends really are in areas that are from science fiction so we know ro robotics will be big artificial intelligence will be big we know that 5g is coming here and what we, next year you will see smart cities at this event more of a focus on how cities and that was the cruise line the largest cruise line in the world that was their announcement in a sense we are a floating city with a controlled environment and you can wear this magic thing or around you and you don't need keys to your doors you don't need to we'll know what drinks we'll know what your preferences are you could do you could gamble you could do anything you want with it and that is that'll change the hospitality industry but it also is where we're heading with smart cities is total convenience customization still with your privacy and still with, but with the ability to match the experience that you want as an individual not only this you know at CES I, I personally attend a lot of keynotes which is very inspiring you know, because you don't get to meet the leader and you know like yesterday with Kevin uh, with Under Armour Kevin Plank got, absolutely yeah, it was such inspiring and you got Michael Fell, Pariana Huffington it's it becomes like a you know so it's a question becomes what to miss what to see because mm -hmm. it's so much happening together it's are you planning to maybe extend maybe a few more days <laughs> yeah because I I've, I've got blisters I've been up on my feet so Nashpreet everybody <laughs> has blisters in CES yes. I am going to tell you a little secret he was wearing sneakers all four days just before coming into this office he changed his you shoes. can't say that now. <laughs> well the truth is you asked me what the advice is for yeah. a newbie the advice is a newbie is before the show don't buy new shoes break all your shoes and bring different pair of shoes <laughs> Them, rest up, drink plenty of water, don't drink alcohol, mm. and, in Las, <laughs> and in Las Vegas, and things, so are, things are further than they appear, yeah. as opposed to what it says on cars in the mirrors, they're closer than they appear, things are further than they appear, mm. so, and use our transportation system. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. Also, okay. Gary, C is now crossing boundaries, you know, now we have C is Shanghai becoming very center stage at that part of the world. So where do you see the CS flag hosted next, next which country do you think? Well, the Shanghai show is growing very quickly, very doubled in yes. size, and our show yes. in June yeah. will, will be even bigger. Right. Uh, we have an event that's growing quickly in Paris, uh -huh. and we have little events around the world. Right. Like CS Day, right? The CS Day, like that you call it. Uh, on CS Unveiled. Yeah. So is there, uh, are you planning to plant the flag, the CS flag, anywhere else in the world? Uh, maybe, maybe. I can tell you, but you have to turn the camera off. Oh, okay. <laughs> alright, alright, so we can't say it in front of the camera. That's so okay. great that was with us, Gary. I mean, he's a very busy man. He's given us some time. We can't because there are people waiting for him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, to more, I mean, watch us. I mean, it'll be all up in the side very soon. Thank you, Gary. Thank, Thank you, you very time. much. It's been it's such a, a pleasure. pleasure. So I am here at the LG booth of the Central Hall and there are so many products. I am a little bit confused as to what to show you guys. So I'm going to go for a little walk. I need a little bit of time and I'm going to pick my favorite one and that's the one I'm going to show you guys. So I have found my uh, favorite product here at LG. Uh, you guys will be shocked. This is so interesting, okay? So it is wearable personal surround system. Yes, so for those of you who still have those big speakers in your houses and apartments, no, get rid of those because now we have this super light. It connects to your Bluetooth tablet or television, uh, television set through Bluetooth. So what you do is you just wear them around your neck, wear it around your neck and turn it on. And it just gives it the same quality as a personal surround system. So get rid of those speakers. <laughs> OK, 
Also, so I found another interesting product here at the LG booth. It is a 0.2 inch TV. Now it's super super slim. I actually went around and I saw it's super slim. So I have Greg here who's going to tell us some main features about the television. Tell us about this super skinny TV. Yeah, you, you were amazed that it was so skinny. I know. I, I walked around and I was like, wait, I, yeah, how? How is that possible? It's the magic of OLED. Uh, LG has been producing the organic light emitting diode technology. This is our signature series W, which stands for wallpaper or wall television. And through the magic of OLED, we yes. can make that panel only 0.2 inches under, you know, four millimeters thick when we hang it on the wall. It's launching here. It's launching this here. This is the launch. Okay, this is, this the, is launch. the launch. Okay, great. So the 65 inch version will be available second quarter of 2017. Okay. And this month, beautiful, beautiful panel second half of 2017. That is amazing. How fascinating is that? So that is the end of my day for here at CES 2017 exhibition at the Las Vegas Convention Center. I have seen a lot, I have learned a lot and I am going to take back a lot with me. I actually got to interview Gary Shapiro which was the highlight of my day today. But I'm done now and hopefully I will see you guys next year at CES 2018. The show was brought to you by Reliance Digital India. And now I can finally take off my uh, nerd glasses and go see some of Las Vegas. Don't follow me.